What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Billy's Idaho Adventures episode. On this series we're heading up to Lake Cascade for five days to do some awesome fishing, camping, and exploring our wonderful outdoors. The truck, boat, and trailer are all up there already. Everybody else left early this morning but I had to work. So we got the dogs packed in the car, everything else I could grab quickly, and we are hitting the road. Stay tuned for some awesome footage of uh, the drive up there, the campground, and hopefully if we get there in time, get everything set up, I can get out on the kayak today, maybe do a little trolling for kokanee, and maybe catch a few bass for you guys. Can't wait to show you our adventure. We'll see you soon. All right, everybody. We're about halfway up there. Just wanted to get some good video of the beautiful scenery on the way up. The river's got a lot of water in it. It's moving pretty good for this time of year. This is the beautiful Payette River, the North Fork. On our way up to Cascade. So far it's been a easy going trip. We got three dogs in the car with us. There's my dog Iris and the two other dogs are in their kennels. And there's mama. Hi mom. She's still a little camera shy, but on this trip, we'll get her used to being on video, catching some monsters. What's going on guys? We did not have time to get out on the water today in the kayak. Um, we just got everything set up and uh, it was super windy once we finally got everything set up, but it's finally calming down and I decided I'm gonna go out and throw a whopper plopper on some of these sand flats and just see if we can Snag a couple smallmouth before the Sun goes down The water is nice and flat in this cove that we're camping in and Figured I'd get a little fishing in on day one. Tomorrow will be a big day. We're going to get the boat in the water and we're going to get out there and get after them. I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I get some whopper plopper action going. All right, here we are. Here's the kayak. Like I said earlier, it was way too windy to get out in the water with it. So we're going to try the old whopper plopper out. There's a nice sand flat here. And today we're throwing the G Loomis IMX Pro. It's a crankbait rod, moderate fast action, 6.6. And we're gonna be throwing this little whopper plopper here. I'm not sure what color this is considered, but it's also paired up to a Revo X Abu Garcia reel. Really nice setup for this. And the lake just looks beautiful right now. Oh, well, obviously I haven't casted this reel in a long time. Just got a little backlash going on there. Let's see if there's any hungry smallmouth chilling out here right now. Yeah. 
just can't beat this guys out here on Lake Cascade. It was super windy when we first got here, but the wind has died way down. It's flat as a pancake now. I did try to get out on the water earlier and do a little trolling for some kokanee, but the wind was just ridiculous. There's a little shot of our the beach right here outside of camp. Absolutely love this lake. All right, well, we're just gonna take a little walk down the beach here, and fish up until that point, see if we can't grab one of these smallmouth off the sand flats. The water temperature, surprisingly, got much colder than it was last time we were here. Earlier when I had the kayak in the water, just making sure everything floats and fish finder worked, the water temperature was 68.7. So it's a little bit colder. Last time we were up here, it was like 76 degrees. I totally just got smoked on that cast right when I turned the camera off like always. Tomorrow will be fun. We're going to be out on the boat most of the day. Me and my dad will be running around looking for the smallmouth bite uh trying ned rigs sinkos drop shots top water in the morning hopefully we can get out there in the morning and get on some big fish i have to keep my rod tip up with this rod because the line on here for one is really old and it's pretty tangled up I forgot to change my line out before we got here and also because I do not have fluoro on I got mono on here and mono likes to sink so if I keep my rod tip up I get much better action all right guys well we're gonna call it a night didn't catch anything this afternoon, but it's only uh, it's only day one. We'll be out here for five more days. We'll have the boat in the water, and we're going to be doing a ton more fishing. Thank you guys for joining me today. And remember, like and subscribe if you like these videos. Billy's Idaho Adventures will be back at you tomorrow with a brand new video. Much appreciated. You guys have a Slayer day. up on the crankbait first cascade fish the one that'll get a freaking hook in your hand Ow. oh there he goes quick release yeah we're looking at 18 and a half feet right here under the boat Throwing the DT-10 on the Bass Pro Shops cranking stick and an Abu Garcia Revo S reel. 7-3 to 1. Ratio on the reel. Just hooked up with the first one. Small little guy. Oop, I just got hit.
Oh, missed him. It's flat as a pond out here. Might have to switch to the deadly Nedley, Dad. Huh? Might have to switch over to the deadly Ned rig. Yes, try this old traditional darter. The old darter head. Switched up to the deadly Nedley. On the Dobbins Colt series. Medium light. I think this is a you know, six nine. Trying to figure out a pattern. Dad's hooked up. You need a nap? You need the nap? There we go, pops hooked up. Oh, quick release. Might want to watch the boat, yeah. He's bleeding. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. The old man. Hooked up. Feels like a good one. Oh, and he's jumping. I'm throwing the I'm throwing the old French fry. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Righteous. No, I cast it up to the bank. Oh. <laughs> there we go, guys. Another smallie on the Ned rig. Throwing this June bug color Ned rig on the rip wrap. There we go, guys. There's a nice one on the crankbait. Holy shit, look at the size of this perch. Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at the size of that perch. That's a nice one, dude. Holy smokes. Look at the size of that perch on the crankbait. I can't get any of the hooks out of it. Ow, ow, ow. You're not gonna eat them. Alright guys. Big old perch on the DT10 crawdad crankbait. Bit it right at the boat. Because of the algae we can't eat any of these fish so we're gonna put them back in the water and let them go. I bet a few ounces of meat ain't gonna hurt you, but... Well, tell me now, because I'm gonna throw them, if not. I wouldn't eat them, but that's just me right now. I'm just going to eat resin. Well, sadly, guys, because of the water condition, we can't keep these fish, but that was a monster perch on the big old crankbait. Ate it right at the boat.
just slow rolling and tapping bottom. Dad's dragging a, what are you dragging? A Ned rig on behind the boat. Mike's throwing a drop shot. The wind picked up. Yep, ooh, it's a good one. That's a nice one. He's, camera yep. <laughs> Hell yeah, another one on the DT-10. Hold on, I'm trying to get the hooks out without getting... Oh, he got a pound and a half, maybe two. Pound and three quarter. Cranking. Up, oh, Dad's hooked up. He, they run right at you. You need a net. Might have to change tactics, Mikey. Well, like smallies. They could be not that big and still give you a good fight. It's the only thing about throwing crankbaits. I'm afraid to get hooked in the hand trying to get them off. Big long needle nose. Grab the hook. Yeah. Well, so far, guys, we're doing pretty good. We got five or six fish in the boat. Including that Mondo perch. This is a good little, this little drop off here. I think you know, wind blowing into the bank. Just throwing this crankbait up to the bank and slow rolling it back. When you hit uh, good cover, you just kind of stop it for a second, pop it, and bring it back. That thing was barely hooked up. One little part of his neck. That one I just caught was off that mud line. Watch my line where I kind of has a bend in it. What were you saying, Dad? Fishing the, fishing the mud lines and shafts on a hot day for the boat wake. Yeah. That was always a good technique. Shaft is so low. Have you guys seen the pictures of it? There's like a whole arm that has, it's just a river. Oh yeah, he's got some size. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get on the motor. Don't get on the motor. Don't go on the motor. Oh yeah, he's a pretty good one. Can you hand me that net real quick so I can I can net him myself? Yeah, he's a bit. I'll net you. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. No, I don't want to break this rod. Awesome, thank you, Mike. Oh, that's why he felt big. He swiped it on the bottom of a
There we go, guys. Another one on the on the old crankbait. Nice little smallie on the crankbait. Smacked it pretty good. That'll work. Get a release on him and get him back down to his buddy so he can get five pounds bigger. You're in a bad angle for the sun, Pops. Dad's got one on. Little guy. Oh, it's a perch. Nice. Perch are digging the crankbaits today. <laughs> Wind blowing banks, throwing crankbaits, deep divers. That's a pretty good perch. Need the net? Nice, Dad. Good catch, Teddy.